Let me show you how I turned leftover fence pickets into inexpensive raised garden beds. I started by cutting the dog ears off the boards. This will give your raised beds a much neater look. You only lose about an inch from the overall length of the boards, making them just under six foot wide. Most of these boards were left over from when we rebuilt our fence. I actually have a video of that project linked if you're interested. I didn't even bother measuring. I just made the first cut on the dog ears and then used that cut off piece to mark the next one and kept going. Besides a drill, the only tool you really need for this project is a miter saw. This was actually one of the first tools I ever got and I actually think I use it more than any of the others. I've linked one for you below that's around $100 if you're just getting started. Next up, place two boards together and measure the height. You need to cut your support boards a bit under this measurement so they don't stick out. Each bed will have six support boards, so a standard 2x4 should be enough for each raised bed. Now, let's lay out the beds. The supports go on each end and in the middle on the front and backs of the beds. Make sure that the ends are flush with the supports underneath and then screw them together. You can actually just eyeball where to put that middle support. Make sure you're using several high quality screws here. You need them outdoor rated and you need a few in each place to ensure that your bed stays together. Once you get dirt in there, it is really heavy. Once you have the fronts and backs built, it's time to add on the sides. I actually just cut two of my fence boards in half in order to maximize the wood. This made my beds the perfect depth, just under about three feet. Okay, now that we're assembling, it's really great if you have a second set of hands. If you don't, a corner clamp comes in super handy. I use this thing all the time. I've linked it for you below. You'll attach your sideboards directly into the support boards you added on the front and back panels. Take note of where those front and back screws are. It's probably rare, but you could hit one of them if you aren't careful. I attached the top board first and made sure it was flush so that it looked nice all the way around. Then I added the bottom. That way, if you're not completely square, the grass will cover it. Hey, function over perfection, right? We had to get a little creative where we joined two beds to create one long bed in our corner. I had already built the sides, so I just used a scrap piece of the cedar fence picket to join the two together. Easy peasy. For the corner, I just drilled the ends together. Mm -hmm. 
After I built and filled the beds, I realized even with multiple screws on those support boards, I probably should add some reinforcement hardware on the corners and such. National Hardware sent me these corner braces and straps, and after adding a pop of color to them, I put them on the raised beds. This will help ensure our beds are sturdy for years to come. I hope this video inspires you to build your own DIY raised beds. Be sure to subscribe and check out my next video where we're going to add drip irrigation to our existing sprinkler system and keep these beds watered all summer long. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.